What's up creators, it's Curtis and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use our new Etsy import and sync feature. This is incredible because now you can import your Etsy listings directly into My Designs and utilize all of our advanced bulk processing features such as mock-up generation, Vision AI to improve your listing data, or just simply add your own photos like thank you cards, review cards, uh, testimonial cards, guarantee cards, whatever it may be to your listings and then just sync that back to your live listings on Etsy without modifying anything else. So if you're not using my designs for doing your print on demand fulfillment, then maybe you're using Printify, Print4, other platforms, you can import those listings, make these changes, sync them back, and continue to use the platform that you want to fulfill your products. This is just step one of many different steps that are coming to my designs. So I'm excited to show you this video. Let's jump right into it. All right, so I'm over here on our demo account. I'm on the my designs dashboard page, as you can see here. I already have this account connected to this test Etsy shop here, MDSVG shop. And I have a collection over here or a section of shirts. Uh, there's eight different shirts here. So what I'm going to do is import these shirts, includes the mockups and the title descriptions and tags into my designs. Maybe add some different cards to them and then sync those back to Etsy. So let's get to it. So this all happens on the listings page. So I'll click here. And again, I already have a folder open. This is just an empty listing page, which is great. An empty folder here in my designs. So you can import by going to upload and then you got this import listings feature. You just click that. And because my Etsy shop's already connected, you can see it's here. If you have multiple Etsy shops, you can select them here. But I'm gonna change the section to the summer t-shirts. And again, there's eight shirts here. And select all visible and uh, simply click import listings. So now you can see that's processing up here. And once that's done, we essentially have imported the all eight of these listings with all the mockups and the titles, descriptions, and tags right into a empty collection of my designs. And then from there, we can make changes to these listings and then resync those changes right back to Etsy. And what's great about my designs, if you're not aware, is you can do everything in bulk, whether it's bulk editing data, generating mockups in bulk, adding uh, photo cards, et cetera, to your listings in bulk, using Vision AI to help rewrite your listing data in bulk again, and then obviously sync all that in bulk. So I know that's a lot of different uh, usage of the word bulk, but that's really what we do best at my designs. So now that I have these all imported, you can see they're here, the primary mockup. These come in exactly as they're listed on Etsy. So title, tags, description, and I got that for all eight of these listings. So you can see how easy that was and how quick that was. So now I'm gonna come up here and select all eight. And the first thing I'm going to do is add some cards. Let me minimize this. You see I got a review card. Let me move this over to the proper screen. Just a really good example is basically taking shop reviews and adding it to all those listings in bulk to help improve conversions. Now, another one I have is this guarantee card. So I'm going to add both of these to all eight of these listings. And then the first example is just resync that back to these Etsy listings. So let me go back to the listings and go over here so I can show you what this looks like. So again, as I imported my designs, we got these different mockups, title, descriptions, and tags all imported. Now I'm going to add those two cards. Uh, to these listings in bulk. So I'm going to go upload again and upload files to multiple listings. First thing I'm going to do is grab, let me go to desktop here, grab the review card, click upload. That's adding it to mockup five. That's the empty file slot name, which is right here. So you can see that's already done. Let's do it again. Upload file to multiple listings. Now again, this is going to go to mockup six, it automatically chooses the first empty file slot. And let's grab that review card. Wait, did I do the review card? Yeah, yeah. I think I did the review card already. So let me, oops. Let's just change that file to the guarantee card. And click upload. That won't take too long. And now we have, if I change the view here, you see we got this, our customers love us, basically a review card. These are just examples. And of course, another one, 14 day guarantee card. Some very simple to do, right? But these little cards definitely help with conversion. This is just one example of so many different ways you can use bulk import and sync. But basically now that that's ready, I mean, I, again, I have all eight of these selected. Go to quick actions, go to bulk sync publications, and it has all of them here. So again, the shop, if you have multiple shops, you can choose it here, but it's only one shop and go next. And because I'm not syncing the data, I didn't make any changes to that. I can just click these X's, even though I'll just override it, it's the same data, but in this case, to show you that's a possibility here, you can just exit those out and then just focus on mockups. So again, it automatically was selected these mockups. If you didn't want to import those, you just uncheck them, but I'm importing them. And you can now down here, 
adjust the placement. So maybe on the first one, I can actually move that size chart now over to the second slot. So this is primary, secondary, and so forth. And then I'll leave these cards at the end, but that's it. And again, you could toggle through because I have eight listings selected. You can see here, toggle through those. But everything works in bulk, so how you make those changes here, that's how it's going to appear on Etsy. So now the last step, because we didn't sync data, it's just the images here. Uh, everything's good to go, so I'm just going to click sync and let that process. And once it's done, we'll go pull up one of those listings on Etsy. So you can see what you just very quickly added some, you know, a review card and a guarantee card to those listings on Etsy without having to, you know, republish or anything like that. So that is done. Let me go back over to one of these shirts and just refresh it. And you can see now the size chart, like we moved it to the second spot is here. So scroll down. Now we got this, uh, this review card and we got this guarantee card. And again, that's on all of these listings. So if I come to a different one, you can see again, we move the size chart to the second slot and these are here. So that's how easy it is to import listings, whether they're from my designs or not. And I make these changes to them. In this case example, we're just using mockups and then resync that. Another really good example is our video mockups. This isn't working right now in terms of syncing it to Etsy, but it will be tomorrow. So I do want to show you how that works. So quick actions, we'll actually just go over to mockups here. Go video mockups because I added these cards now, I'm gonna go select the order that I want this to appear. It's basically a video slideshow that we create in bulk so that someone on the Etsy search page is fine, come, hovers over your product listing, that video will automatically play showing the mockups that are within the listing. They're actually proven to work very well. So I'm gonna use this as the first and maybe we'll go size chart second and then we'll do these and then add the rest of these. And we're gonna put that in the video mockup slot. That's where we'll store this. I could generate a preview, but I'm just gonna submit it and generate it for all eight of those. And that should take, you know, maybe 30 seconds to finish processing. And then I will show you what that looks like. All right, so that is already done. And again, the video is placed in this video mockup slot. So just to click on that and give you a preview of what it looks like. Just a subtle little transition showing your mockups and whatever else you put into this video. We're gonna have different type of templates in the future you can choose from. But basically if you had, you know, hundreds of Etsy listings, you're on the My Designs Pro plan, you can do this for up to 120 listings at a time. You could select all, choose the mockups, generate a video, and then you can resync that and add it to all of those listings, which will be will definitely help with improving your conversions. But that's just one of so many different ways to use our Etsy import and sync features. I could technically go through and use Vision AI to scan my mockup, rewrite my delisting data, whether I want to do titles, tags, and descriptions, or just titles, and then sync that back, or just tags, and then sync that back and overwrite the tags on Etsy. So there's so many possibilities here. This video is mostly just to show you, uh, you know, how it works. In the future, I'll go a bit deeper on each of the different possibilities you can do. You can use our Canvas system and all these different possibilities to create anything really quickly in bulk. But in the future, I'll go a lot deeper on different strategies and ways to use this. But that's it for this video. If you do have questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback. Love to see what you'd like to see next. But that's it. Have a great day. Cheers.